Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So today, I'm actually gonna be trying to restore my headlights on my STI. So, the reason I'm gonna try and restore them is just because I might sell my car. So I want it to look as clean as possible. So the value might go up just because I am gonna be cleaning the the headlights. So right now I'm at Walmart as you guys can see. And I'm gonna be getting the McGuire's headlight restor restoration kit. So hopefully we can find it. I'm pretty sure these guys already found it. But let's go see. We got Johnny. Omar, ugly ass, <laughs> Luis. So which one should I go for, guys? The heavy duty or the two-step? Which one the two-step? It's, it's basically by hand, and then this one's gonna be by drill. So which one would you say? The drill one. This is the drill one, yeah. All right. So we're gonna go check out, guys. Once we get over there, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do the whole process. That was a little harder than I Okay guys, so a little change of plans. So my girlfriend texted me she wanted to ride from her work. So I'm on my way to go pick her up right now. Uh, my brother and Luis are getting the things ready so that we can start doing that. They're moving some things uh, around the garage. But as soon as we get there, we're gonna go straight to it. We're gonna dive into it and we're gonna see what the McGuire's box is about. Honestly, it's... I saw some reviews on it, but I wanted to try it off myself. Like I said, we did get the heavy duty McGuire's uh, headlight restoration kit, but hopefully it does something to the car. And if it doesn't, I mean, it was just 20 bucks. It wasn't like I was losing hundreds or thousands of dollars, but hopefully we get it done and we get it done right guys. So I'll show you guys when, well, right now, like I said, I'm gonna go pick up my girl. Once I pick her up, I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I'm gonna bring you guys basically with me all, all day long, so I hope you guys stay tuned. So we made it to her workplace, guys. But while we're waiting for her to come out, I'm gonna unbox the McGuire's headlight restoration kit. So let's see what we get with it. I don't think there's any masking tape in there. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to stop at Walmart and then get some of that, just because I don't want to scuff the paint. But Let's see what we get with the McGuire shed like restoration kit. Ooh. So I believe this is gonna be the this is gonna be the sanding pads. There's two in here. So yeah, we have two different pads in here. We got the where it goes basically. We're gonna be using. We're gonna be doing this step by hand, I believe. Uh, we got the the plastic clear plastic cleaner and polish. So I believe this is the last step. I'm not quite sure. I never done this before. The applicator. We have the hand drill buffing pad. And last but not least, the headlight coating. So, I but this is gonna be the last step. I'm pretty sure it is, so. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Step one is gonna be sanding, so I'm guessing that's where this comes in handy. Uh, second, we're gonna buff it out. And then finally, we're gonna put our protective coat, so. As soon as we get there, we probably already know what we're gonna do. But like I said, there is no masking tape inside here. So I'm probably gonna have to stop at either Walmart or a different place to get some of that. So, I'll see. So what's cool about McGuire's is that they actually have different prices for their different, um, basically, it, this basically is telling you, it depends on how bad your, uh, your headlights is gonna be. So I'm pretty sure mine are really bad. So that's why I went with the heavy duty one. But there's obviously the light, moderate, and then the heavy duty one. But like I said, we did win with the heavy duty one. So I never tried McGuire's products. So I'm really excited to see what they provide. So. Like I said, as soon as she gets out of here, we're gonna go home and then we're gonna try these products out. So we'll see, I'll see you guys when we get there.
What's up, blood? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a crackhead. What's up? I said I look like a crackhead. A cute crackhead. Thanks. I bought the restoration kit for my car. The what? Restoration kit. You got a new hat? Yeah. Wow, cute. Thank you. You went to the mall without me? We do not speak of <laughs> these things while I'm recording. But, so... Finally picked her up guys, so now we're gonna go home and then we're gonna start on that restoration kit. So, I'll see you guys when I get there. You Okay guys, so we finally made it to my garage. Uh, I got all the stuff set up already, just so that I could kind of make this video as soon as possible. So I was reading the box and the first step is obviously gonna be remove any dirt, dust or debris from headlights using glass cleaner and a clean towel. Max edges using masking tape. Be cautious around edges and be careful not to touch the paint. Okay, so I got the masking tape right here. Then I got a cleaner right here and my clean towel. So let's go with step one. All right, so we got step one done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna max off the edges. I'm pretty sure that's uh, cause we're gonna be working with sandpaper so we're not gonna want to be scratching the, obviously the edges of the paint. So I'm gonna max off these edges really quick. Okay guys, so all the edges are already maxed off. Now let's move on to the second step. Attach one dunking grip finish disc to hand pad. Maintain or keep the finishing disc wet by dunking it into a small container with water or spraying water directly onto the disc. Sand the headline in a smooth, uniform side from motion with overlapping paces. Frequently wet the disc from forward lubrication. Continue sanding until the headlight appears evenly frosted white. Evenly frosted white the headlight with a dry microfiber towel. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're obviously, I'm gonna go grab some water and then that's gonna help me sand down the headlight. So it did say to use the 1000 grit. So behind these, it does say what, uh, what, uh, what's it called? What, uh, what number the sandpaper is. So we're gonna go with the 1000. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some water to keep this lubricated, so just give me a minute. Okay guys, so I grabbed the water bottle, now I'm gonna use the water, obviously, to lubricate the, as I'm setting it down, so I'm gonna do that step really quick. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Paco just got here. Paco is one of my boys. He has a 2019 or 2018 Subaru Limited STI. So it is a Subi thing, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So now after we basically are done sanding it down, we're gonna wipe it off with a clean microfiber towel. Like I said, the boys are here, so let me just go ahead and open that uh, the garage door for them. Yeah, you all even old enough to be drinking, bro? Who? No, I don't know. I doubt it. Did they say anything? No. Yeah, I don't think that's their car. What do you think so far, Paco? 
I didn't know you had to tape it up. Oh, you got to put that in Yeah, I already sanded that, sanded it down with the 1000 grit. Nice. So now I got to move on. They gave you two of them? Like yeah. You chose which one you want to use? No, I got to use both. Which one you got to use first? The 1000 grit and then the 3000 grit. And then we just got done with the, the 1000. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm gonna close the garage door again, guys. It's chilling, bro. It stops on its own. I hope so. I hope so. Since we're biased, we get to have some beer. Our chicken, so. And the fight is gonna lose my beer. It should be a shame of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Bob. Say it again? Not right now. Ah! <laughs> 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 God, this thing you said that could take him, bro. Who? Jai? Where? The drink? Why don't you take them? Ah, you're right. That's what we're saying. Like, you take them. Fuck, I just tell him okay. <laughs> He's like, I hope so. I hope so. That's what he's saying. I hope so. Me convencieron. Okay, so third step is remove the 1000 grit finishing disc and attach the 3000 grit finishing disc to the hand pad. Maintain or keep the finishing disc wet by dunking it in a small container with water or spray yeah, water directly into the disc. Looking at. Sand the hate like no. a smoothie like uniform it. up and down motion with overlap like crosses. Like Wipe the hell like dry That's with shit. a microfiber towel. Modelo? I thought this was a model. Kind of tastes like a dry. Like a can? Y'all like oh. yeah. don't stay quiet, bro. I'm mean. Y'all yeah, mean. Don't mind that, bro. Yeah, y'all yeah, chill. Alright, so it's gonna be the exact same thing, guys, but now I'm gonna use a different. Now we're gonna be using basically the 3000 grit and it's the same process, we're gonna wet it down and then sand it as RZ. Yeah. Um, yeah. As it's yeah. Structured, as it's instructed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, we... So we're down setting it down with the 3000 grit. So now the next step is we're gonna use the drill and the pad that it comes with, and we're gonna be applying the Meguiar's Plastic X Clear Plastic Cleaner and Polisher. So, shout out to Walmart for getting us these parts too. Parts. Even though it's parts. all about them target target customers. It says apply a nickel size amount to the wires polished pad, place the pad flatly on the surface. You're going to take out the You're going to target for the customers. <laughs> <laughs> to add a nickel, nickel size um, dot to the pad and now I'm gonna basically agitate it into the, the oh, yeah. light. so wish me luck guys. Peter, we were going by the 
But I saw him, I didn't know him back then, right? Uh -huh. But every time we saw him again, we were doing a race. We were okay, racing, so... right? And my nigga took his cold door, remember? I said we were with uh, Diego and shit. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the XX product. <laughs> After I'm done with that, I'm gonna apply the last step, but I just gotta make sure that it's dried out, so. <laughs> open the, the, the uh, door, bro. You open the bro. Hey, there's a button right there, in the, by the bag. It looks clean. No. It looks pretty clean. Yeah, it looks clean. I say you, you probably had it in a little bit. Wait, that one, yeah. The paper, you bro. think? Yeah. <laughs> LAVAME! <laughs> what up, bro? What up, Conchi, bro? What's up, bro? Conchi, where's the Honda, bro? <laughs> it's over there. Ah, there. <laughs> Ruin, where's your RT, bro? I left it in Chicago. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he traded it in for gas. <laughs> There's a difference between right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. yeah, hell yeah. Let's hell yeah, let's go. Come inside, bro. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah, let's get him. 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 let us I gotta make sure that the headlight is nice and clean, so I'm just gonna spray it down with some soapy water. And then from there, we're gonna apply, like I said, the last product. So, I'll just y'all anyway. You feel me? We got another okay guys, so the camera ended up dying, so I had to replace the battery. I got a new battery in there, but... In that time, I already, the applicator should be nice and dry about now, so I'm going to do the second coat. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do the other headlight, just because I showed you guys the process on this one, but... Uh, like I said, this is the last step, so after this... Uh, we're gonna be done, guys. So. Yeah, sure right. My man, like, <laughs> pull, uh, tell them, tell them. Uh, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, or you smash that fucking like button. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment in the section below. Make sure you plug your Instagram. Because it's slacking right now. Let's go through. Let's put all the words in my, my little Instagram. <laughs> I. So the last step was obviously to apply the applicator with the headlight coating. That's all done, it dried out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my headlights and see if there's an actual difference between the, 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 the before and the after, guys. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys really quick how the left one looks. This is gonna be the one that we treated. And then this is the one that we still haven't treated. So there is a big ass haze on this headlight compared to this one over here, but now Luis is gonna do the honors of turning on the car gotcha. and turning on the headlights as well. Is it right hand right? I did. Are the keys in there? Oh, isn't that push start right? No, bro. No, mama, no. Keys are in there or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't gotta hold the brake to turn it on. Here, let me just make sure it's on it's neutral. It's on third right now. I left it on third right now. Alright, now you can turn it on. You can see a big difference. Alright, right away. Nice. Disconnect that one, Ruben. Uh, the the plug, bro. The yeah. So then clutch in and then um, clutch in and then turn, obviously, the... <laughs> oh, you can yeah. I want to see if you're able to actually tell the difference. <laughs> Step in the clutch <laughs> and then turn it on. Yeah, yeah. It looks cleaner over there. Yeah. Move the bucket room in for me, please. You guys, I can buy it. So, as you guys can see, there's obviously a difference. It's more noticeable in person than it is on camera. 
but the right side is way clearer way more visible than the left side so not only did this make the car look newer it obviously is going to help me look better at night so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe i'm gonna link everybody's instagram in the video in the link below so stay tuned for more videos guys oh damn <laughs>